So the next question I received on the gear was how how do you get the email function on the gear to function or to work? Well, one of the things you need to make sure is that your your gear is configured to work with your email account. So we're going to go into settings. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into um, the apps section. Let's see, where is it? See right here, it says manage applications. So I'm going to go into manage applications. And these are the applications that I have installed. And I'm going to talk about some of the ones that are essential uh, that don't come with the gear that you should install. But for the most part, we're going to focus here on the email piece. Let's zoom in so we can see uh, what you need to make sure you have set up. So all you're going to do is make sure you click on the gear. And once you click on the gear, this is where you have your um, your email accounts. You need to have these email accounts established or else you won't be able to send email from your gear watch. So simply all you have to do is choose add and once you choose add you select either an existing account that's configured on your phone or what you can do is you can actually key in the information and have a manual account added. Um, again uh, that is one that is not on the phone but that you want to be uh, on the gear. So uh, very simple if you've done this before with your um, with your uh, Google phone, you know, your Android phone, even on your iPhone you do this. You put in your email address, you put in your password, and then you hit next and it's going to go ahead and configure itself. So that's uh, the first thing you'll need to do to make sure that your email is configured correctly. So now the next step, we'll move this aside, um, we're going to focus on how do you create an, an email on the gear. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to swipe up and we're going to go into the email app. Now, here you're going to get uh, the ability to compose. So let's say if you only see, uh, like I see right here where it says emails and you don't really see, you know, what do I tap on? You know, nothing really happens. All you do is swipe down a little bit and you'll notice that compose comes up. We'll do that again. Swipe down and compose comes up. Once you choose compose, you're going to see your keyboard is going to pop up. You can also then see your to, your subject, all that information. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in an email address and then we'll show you how you can um, use your voice to enter text because a lot of people are asking me how um, accurate is the voice recognition. So I went ahead and entered um, our email address and now the next thing I'm going to do is um, put in a subject. Um, you could add another person by tapping on the plus, I'm not going to do that, or you can go into the message. So I'm just going to put in um, in the subject line and I'm going to use uh, the voice recognition on this just so you can see how it works. Test message. So I got my test message there. I'm going to now swipe down just so that I can get out of that. And I'm going to get out of swipe again so I can get out of the, the uh, keyboard. And now in the text area, I'm going to type my message. Now I could use a keyboard, but again, I'm going to use my voice. This is a test message using the Gear S voice recognition Let's go back. Okay, so this is a test message using the gear um, S, and I picked up asked voice recognition. Not bad, only one word incorrect, and it's probably because I wasn't speaking clear enough in order for the system to recognize. So once you've typed this up, all you do is hit send, and the message is gone. So that's how you send a message using your um, gear s or email um, the same process is true for text messaging so if you want to do a text message and you go into text into messages you'll be able to do the same thing